What's up guys, Andres here, Strong Family Money Show. Just got done with the gym. I'm on your home uh, to go to, go to work. Um, so, just got done with the gym, like I said. Uh, and you'll be surprised on how much the gym is really to help your mind uh, more than your body, right? So, yeah, we, you know, you go to the gym to whatever, lose weight, you go on the treadmill or you, you know, build muscle because you're lifting weights. But uh, a lot of the times I use my gym time to, you know, think over things and clear my mind. And, you know, uh, if there's an issue I have, you know, at work or, you know, in a business, then I, I think about uh, ways to fix it. So that's what I really use my, my gym time for. Um, so it's really a good way to clear your mind and it, it you'll be surprised on, on how much more uh, of a of a uh, you know, tool uh, it is to become better outside of the gym um, than really just going to, to build muscle and work out and stuff like that, right? So uh, if you're not into physique or you know you don't want to you know you don't have to be a bodybuilder, but uh, just going to the gym to help your mindset and and think things through. It's a great place to do it because you know you can put your headphones on and no one bothers you. Uh, and you can do a lot of thinking there. Uh, next, uh, you know, only, you know, continuing with the mindset uh, theme, uh, only you can decide when you're happy. You're in charge of your happiness. Uh, so that's why you should never put your happiness in somebody else, right? You should never say, I'm happy because, you know, they like me or, you know, they, they make me happy, right? So you should never put your happiness in somebody else. Happiness is, is uh, you're in charge of it. You decide when you are happy, when, you know, and I guess you can decide when you're not happy, but uh, happiness is something that you control and you say when you are, when you're not. Uh, don't put it in other people. Don't make other people uh, in charge. Don't, don't put other people in charge of, of your happiness. Um, third, so uh, my daughter's gonna go on a trip here next year to DC for for school and um, uh, I think in the beginning she might have thought it was you know just mom and dad signed a check and everything's gonna be great um, but you know you want to make your kids uh, work in some way for things that are outside of the basics uh, so that they understand that you know it isn't a, a slam dunk it isn't a free ride right so uh, whether it be it with them giving contributing money or time uh, you know, make sure even if it is in no way going to help, you know, really monetarily towards, you know, uh, achieving whatever goal they want to do. So, you know, they have to understand that they have to put some skin in the game to get all these extra things and that mom and dad aren't just, uh, you know, a blank check just to, you know, give them whatever they want. Because a lot of the times mom and dad didn't have certain things and we, they get the mindset of when I'm a parent, that's not going to happen. And uh, you know you're you're the person you are because of the, what you went through, right? So if you're you know tough and and uh, and uh, you know you're a great business person and you're a good you know talker because you know or, or a salesperson or whatever whatever you are is because of what you went through, right? And if you went without, right, that could have contributed or did contribute to how good you are at things now. And if you don't give your kids the opportunity, and it is an opportunity, to go through those same things, then you're taking something away from them, right? They're not going to become, uh, you know, as good as they can be because you only become good if you go through struggle, right? And if you take all the struggle away, you think everything's going to be easy. And when you know bad times really happen, then you know, that's when you're, that's when they're in trouble. Uh, next, uh, set a savings goal every paycheck and make it automatic so that you don't think about it, right? Uh, you, you want to have the least amount of money in your pocket at the end of the day, like when you get paid, right? So you wanna make sure that you set a savings goal, 100, 200, 300 bucks, every paycheck automatically goes somewhere else. You never see it. You never have to think about it because when you think about it, you can make a decision not to do it. So you wanna make a savings goal every paycheck, make it automatic, and you'll be surprised on how quick that, um, that adds up. Um, let's see, last, uh, so don't waste your time feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, you know, that is a waste of time. Um, you know, something bad happens to you. It's better to think about why it happened, 
what you can fix, what you can do next time so it doesn't happen again. All right, if you spend all your time, you know, moping around and feeling sorry for yourself, you're you're not fixing anything. Uh, you, you're going to keep yourself in the mindset of, of the bad thing that happened to you and you're not going to find a way to fix it so that it doesn't happen next time or you're not going to find a way to make yourself better so that uh, you know you can achieve what you failed at if it's a failure and, and uh, you're, you're just going to get in that cycle of uh, feeling sorry for yourself and always being down and everyone's out to get me and blah 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 it's an endless cycle spiral out of control so anyway on my way to work you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys next time.